Hi, I'm Andrew with NVIDIA and you're watching GeForce Garage. On the last episode, we upgraded the Red Harbinger cross desk with some super cool custom visuals. And in this episode, if you guys have been watching the previous shows, you've seen a ton of liquid cooling be installed into the system. And today we're gonna fill her up. Today with us in-house, we have Brian Carter, AKA Boddicker, who's gonna show us how it's done. Hey, what's up? My name is Brian Carter from bodsmods.com. So today we'll be using these tools here for uh, filling our loop, starting with the paper towels, just in case we have any leaks or uh, spills. The blue shop towels are a good option because you can easily tell once they get wet that if you have a leak, you'll be able to tell where it's coming from pretty quickly. So one of the things that makes it easy to fill the loop, you can use a funnel, and I put this together. It consists of a regular funnel, a piece of hose, and a regular half inch barb. So you can bend it in any which way you want because when you're putting a system together, you don't have much room to work in, so this really helps with, uh, with that. So another way to do it would be with these syringes, you can use an extra container that has a wider opening so you can get in there and extract the fluid and transfer the fluid from the container to your loop. We're going with uh, distilled water over regular tap water because it's non-conductive. So we'll be using a UV green dye to go with the color theme of our cross desk. We're getting ready to fill the loop. The first thing we want to do is put the uh, paper towels down to make sure that we can tell if there's any leaks or spills. While you can do this by yourself, it's always good to have an extra pair of hands. Uh, Lee is here to help me out. He was outside in the parking lot, so I figured I'd let him in and do some work here with me. So let's get started. This is just a safety precaution. We don't anticipate having a leak or a problem, but at least you're prepared. So I think that pretty much covers everything, right, Brian? Looks like it. Cool. So I'm just gonna fill this sucker up. We'll start with that, what do you think? Yeah. We're using the syringe. We could put the funnel right onto that. That just screws right in. And this is where the extra set of hands comes in handy because you have one person that could be filling, another person could be turning on and off the power supply to prime the pump or handing you the liquid to fill the system. Earlier we discussed trying to fill a horizontal system and the hardest part is getting the liquid to your pump. So what we did is chose to lift this uh, reservoir up out of the bracket a little bit to give us an angle so the liquid will flow into the next reservoir. So now that it's full, we're gonna go ahead and cap it, push it down so hopefully that liquid will pour into this reservoir over here, which will be on the pump and we'll start pushing the liquid through. So what we have right now is we have the uh, power supply sitting up here. It's connected to only the pump at this moment. And what we have is a 24 pin jumper. So basically it tells the power supply to turn on. I got a cool little chain for it too. We'll see what happens. So we haven't seen any liquid here yet. So it's just no, filling up the radiators, radiators right now. So we'll add some more and we'll just keep going. So it's kind of a process of keep doing that until it's full.
Now this is where you gotta like start watching stuff because we have two ports open at the same time and last thing you wanna do is be filling in this port and pour out of this port. So... <laughs> Last time. Those things are singing. I got this one is is that totally full? Yeah, yeah. that's full. Yeah, they're starting to mellow out so, now. The noise comes from the air bubbles. The pump cavitates when air goes through it. You can hear the different sound the pump makes. And when the air gets out of it, the pump quiets down and all the air gets trapped into the reservoir. So we finished leak testing and it uh, looks like we're leak free. So right now we are going to add some UV dye and let it flow through the system and see how that looks. All right, so we got the UV green dye in the fluid. So uh, Lee, why don't you fire it up and we'll see what it looks like. Sure thing. We recommend letting the system run for 24 hours or so, just to make sure that uh, there's no leaks possible. Sweet. Looks awesome. Pretty cool. Don't forget to check out our next episode where we finally get this beast up and running and we overclock the crap out of it. You're watching GeForce Garage, the ultimate resource center for designing, building, and customizing your GeForce PC.